Oh my word, have I got to put that together? Crikey. Took my arm off then. Right, so I'm unboxing this. It is a airbrush compressor kit that I'm hoping to pry my miniatures with. Um, I bought this over a year ago, so it's no longer in date, which is cool. So I hope it works. Oh, so this knife needs probably a bit of a sharpen. One minute later. I'm back and I have a sharper knife, so let's have a go at opening this. Oh crikey, took my arm off then. Oh my word, have I got to put that together? Right, let's get to it. So let's give this air compressor a closer look. Um, it actually seems okay. I was expecting far less um, quality, but it seems really good. I also get two airbrushes, which is cool. Obviously, the tubing that goes with it. And I think that might be a mount to secure the airbrushes to when they're not in use, but we shall see. So yeah, let's get this all put together and give it a go. I'm actually quite impressed with how it turned out. This is the first time I've um, airbrushed something, so I was dreading getting the um, paint runs and stuff, but this has actually turned out surprisingly quite well for a first attempt. In hindsight, I probably should have used a miniature. I wasn't so <laughs> bothered about painting, but um, fortunately it's turned out really well. So um, it could have gone a lot worse. I'm very happy with that, especially how the paint has adhered to the face and the hands, because these are very hard to reach areas with a paintbrush and it would have taken me quite a while in terms of priming to sort of get it in there and into all the nooks but yeah super happy with that and yeah in a future video you may see me actually applying some coloured paints to this one. Change of plan. I've decided to paint some of this miniature in this video also for anyone who is interested um, this guy is Eddie Munson from Stranger Things and the company who I bought Eddie from is Warrior Prince 3D. So now is also a good time to talk more about the paints I'll be using. Um, so for this miniature, I will be using System 3 Acrylics by Dale Rowney. I've used these paints since I started well painting. Because I don't have a lot of room or storage, I'm only using the System 3 paints I get in my set, which is pretty much all of these. And these, I think my white colour is in there, but if not, that's downstairs. Of course, the painting time, it takes a little while longer because I'm only using a limited amount of colours, but I do actually quite enjoy mixing my own colours. So that part of the process is quite fun for me. Another newer item I've bought is masking fluid. Now, I've only used this before on flat canvases, but I'm not sure how well it will perform on a more complex 3D object, such as our Eddie here. 
so yeah that one might be a bit of a learning curve um also i think just noticing now it's um a watercolor um mask so we shall see how that turns out i mean it's all the same stuff right um brushes it's just standard synthetic variety there Oh, and I almost forgot, this is one of my acrylic painting essentials, it is slow dry and medium. I actually find it really useful for when I mix in flesh tones, it gives me more time to blend and get that seamless 3D fill. Now before I begin painting, I'm going to squeeze out a small amount of all the colours I'll be using into these little squares, and I'll be adding my drying or slow dry medium. I'm still trying to work out what is less wasteful, adding the slow dry medium to the individual colours, or adding it to the colour that will be going on the miniature. So, let's give this a go. Oh. 